Hi, welcome back to the uh, what is now just a workshop or well, a garage really. And uh, if you've been following my earlier 3D printing uh, exercises, you'll know that I've started with a um, a drill stand. Um, didn't turn out quite as well as I had hoped, and uh, it turned out quite wobbly. So I'll take you over to the work bench. Uh, well, work table really is hardly a bench and uh, explain what's been going on. Right, well, here you are. Uh, as you can see, I've stripped it down a bit. And uh, my main problem was the holes uh, that uh, the drill itself rode up and down, and I'll put it back on here. Nice and free sliding, but they just rock too much. So what I decided to do was reprint it with even bigger holes. But I've sent off for and have now received just this morning some oil light bushes, flanged oil light bushes, which. Uh, fit in the uh, oversized holes like that and I will be super gluing them in at a later date like in about 10 minutes time but they now slide very nice with Virtually no rock at all. And that's improved the design considerably. And uh, well, I suppose I better get on with uh, gluing them in really. Um, I also shortened the lever arm uh, to make it a bit stiffer. There's a smaller cut out there for the pivot. And I also put a, uh, a steel threaded insert in there as well, just to stiffen things up. So um, I'll go and get myself some Loctite, or even super glue, I think, probably better, and um, stick these bearings in and, uh, and take it for a test drive. I don't know how well this is going to come out on camera, but uh, I've built it all up again. I glued these in off camera because I think watching someone glue two things together comes a second only to watching paint dry. So when I put it back on, it will go down all right. And as per now, it won't come back on its own or even with assistance from the handle. Uh, so I've temporarily lashed up a couple of springs, um, not very securely fitted and not much tension, so I'm hooking down a bit further, get a bit more oomph out of them. Uh, ideally, I think I mentioned before, they would have, uh, this would have springs underneath to uh, push the uh, business end Oops, up a bit further a bit harder um, and maybe I'll try and get some springs or try and make some somehow but in the meantime uh, I'm going to try and fiddle this around. I can't get enough light on it to see, so I'll just switch off there, do it off camera, and bring it back when I've uh, fixed it. Well, that turned out to be more of a fight than I thought it was going to be. Um, but uh, I've stretched these springs to the underside of the uh, motor carriage, and uh, it now works after a fashion. Um, you can see with a bit more oomph in the spring 
it does actually spring back. So I think ideally I'll make up a couple of little clamps to go around here and then get some short springs that fit over these rods and um, somehow make them adjustable so that it slides up and down for the various positions but for the most part I think it will probably be held in one uh, one basic position and uh, for the time being these springs will just have to do they certainly ain't pretty but uh, needs must I don't know how I'm going to get these springs well, I might have to get them uh, made to my design but uh, there's 40 mil of um, travel just more than enough for my needs at the moment and uh, yeah I'll uh, see if I can source some suitable springs to go around that 12 mil silver steel good job I haven't glued the top on otherwise I'd be uh, in right up uh, sticky creek um, at the moment it's fairly easy just to ease them off with the thumbs um, but there we are so far so good and uh, I suppose I really ought to try drilling something didn't I so um, no collet in there at the moment yeah okay I'll um, fit a collet and a drill and find something to put a hole in Well, I've brought you in a bit closer here to the table, lowered it down a bit, so consequently the spring action is uh, uh, relatively higher. I'm not sure how this is going to show up, because all, all I can find to draw it really in too conveniently is a bit of 10 inch black shiny perspex. Um, well, if it shows up all right, you'll see it. If it doesn't, I won't put it in the video. So here we go. Um, I'll turn it up to, shall we say, about six volts. No, that's going to hold the hog. No, not quite that much hog. That's eight and a half volts, so I would think mm, 10,000 RPM. going to turn out on screen because I can hardly see the darn thing and the drill was only done up hand tight in the chuck um, but um, as you may have been able to hear and see it did drill to many mega hard to take the drill out and uh, show you I'll get it in the in the picture frame. There we go. The drill fits in there. Pan out. Whoopsie daisy. Pan out. There we are. There it is. Seems to drill fairly straight. It's, uh, it's not a very deep hole. Hmm. Two or three mil at the most, I suppose. So, uh, okay for drilling clearance holes, I suppose. However, next time you see me, I should uh, have a proper little bench drill. Once, when I worked out how much it's cost me to <laughs> make this darn thing, I could have sent off and got a ready-made proper one. So uh, that's what I've done. Anyway, it was a interesting little exercise for me if not for you and um, uh, like I say if you have been thanks for watching catch you next time bye for now